everything we've been told is a lie. And we might be able to gain muscle without actually touching a weight. And the first few scientific papers that looked at this were in animals. So they would get animals like chickens or quails. They would essentially stretch out their limbs for long periods, sometimes up to 24 hours. And what we tend to see from those studies is that long periods of really stretching out the muscles of animals leads to both increased muscle size and also strength. And this follows on from a concept known as stretch mediated hypertrophy or stretch induced hypertrophy. Essentially the idea is that muscle growth is driven by the muscle being in a stretched position under a high degree of tension. We know that this might work in animals but has this been tried in humans? Well recently we had a pretty major study come out. Now this sort of study is what's known as a meta-analysis and this is a type of scientific study where they take the results of lots of different studies on one topic and they try to come up with some sort of consensus based on the average of all of those studies. This was looking at 42 different studies that have obviously looked at stretching and the effects on muscle growth and muscle strength. So first of all on the topic of muscle strength. Well overall there was a very small but significant increase in muscle strength from those doing stretching protocols versus those not doing stretching. For example this particular study had participants do a, a single leg calf stretching program and as will be a bit of a theme throughout these studies they use the other leg as the control group and I suppose why not if you've got someone with two legs you can do the stretching protocol on one leg and use the other leg as a control to see what happens. So they did the stretching on one calf for three days a week uh, for 10 weeks in total and at both the start and end of the study they did a one rep max single leg calf raise on the Smith machine which sounds rather uncomfortable and the weights lifted were probably quite low but they found that the calf that was stretched out for all those weeks had a 29% increase in their one rep max and this was significantly more than the control leg. Another study looking at the effects of stretching on muscle strength had participants stretch out their pec muscles for 15 minutes a day for eight weeks in total and then they had another group who were essentially asked to do nothing for the eight weeks. At the start and at the end of the eight weeks they tested their one rep max on the bench press. Now the group that were given the stretching protocol they increased their bench press from 75 kilograms up to 80 kilograms. Now remember they weren't lifting weights during this time, they were just stretching. The control group on the other hand, the group that were doing nothing, they went from 69 kilograms to 69 kilograms. So in that study, stretching induced a 7.4% increase in muscle strength. However, other studies in this review did find no effect on muscle strength. On average though, as I've mentioned, there was a very small positive effect. So let's move on to muscle growth. What were the findings of this review in terms of how stretching can grow our muscles? Well, on average, they found an even smaller effect of stretching on muscle growth compared to muscle strength, but it was still significant and there was something there. For example, we had this study here, which asked participants to stretch the same kind half every day for 24 weeks and at the end of the study they compared the muscle growth in the stretched leg to the non-stretched leg. By the end of the study the stretched leg had a small increase in muscle thickness so it went from 197 millimeters to 21.2 but interestingly the leg that they didn't stretch well that went from 19.8 to 21.7 so a pretty similar increase across both legs. The researchers in this paper actually were pretty shocked that this happened. In fact they weren't really expecting any muscle growth in either leg at all and they were more interested in what was happening to the tendons for this particular study. Then there was this other study. Now they got participants to stretch out their quadricep muscle on one leg but not the other leg for a period of six weeks for 20 minutes a day. And at the end of the six weeks they did an ultrasound assessment of muscle thickness on both legs. On average the muscle that participants stretched for the six weeks increased in thickness by 6.7%. The muscle that they didn't stretch increased by only 1.2%. Again interesting that they found the muscle that they didn't stretch actually grew slightly but this might have just been a natural change or measurement error uh, and it wasn't significant. So the results were small but pretty positive in favor of the stretched leg. So let's go back to the meta-analysis. Now what did the authors of this big paper conclude? Well first of all on average the effects of stretching on muscle growth and strength seem to be very small but positive. However they also say that to get the best results you need to be doing it to a high enough effort. Also do it for long enough so at least 15 minutes a day for a minimum of six weeks and in terms of frequency per week that would need to be again at least five times a week. So what do I think about this study? Well I think it shows that ultimately we can increase muscle mass and strength through stretching alone but it's not going to be as effective as resistance training and to be honest I can't think of many situations where you would be able to do a very rigorous stretching program 
but you wouldn't be able to do any resistance exercise. We don't have many studies on it yet, but it might be that a combination of the two provides better results than just resistance training alone. However, we also know that static stretching immediately before your session is going to have a negative effect on your strength output. So it would likely be that you would need to stretch as far away from your session as possible. So some interesting findings there. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this sort of content, do hit subscribe. I'm firing out these videos at the moment and I will see you soon in another video.